Welcome to the Edge of Greatness podcast. Constant pressure to, to, to compete and to succeed and to win games. Do you feel like that helps with developing leadership over the course of a career when you're constantly under that, I guess, the microscope of success where there's not as much room for failure that you learn to grow from those, those environments as a leader? Does that help? Yeah, I, I think without a doubt, because, because a lot of times failure... Failure is part of the learning process. Failure is part of success. And that seems like a, such a paradox, but I don't, I've never seen, I, I can't think of off the top of my head, somebody that's been successful that's never had failure. You know, I, I mean, even you take, and, and I mean, this is, this is getting to be old, older school as we go along, but Michael Jordan, <laughs> right. You know, I mean, the dude's playing now. I've never even, never weren't even alive when Jordan was playing, you know, so Jordan's getting older, but but even Jordan experienced failure with not making his varsity team as a sophomore. We've all heard about that, but, but also, you know, what the first seven years of his career, he, they didn't do anything with the bulls. You know, they, they were constantly coming up short. So he was experiencing success where he was the poster child, literally the poster child, you know, for basketball, you know, he's on every poster. He's, he's winning the dunk contest. He's the leading scorer, but his team isn't winning. That failure, you know, understanding, hey, I, you know what, I'm holding my team back. Wait, what? How are you holding your team back? You're the leading scorer. I'm not shooting any threes. I'm not, number one, I'm not shooting them. And number two, I'm not making them when I do shoot them. And, and it corresponded exactly when he worked on his three-point game and started taking more shots and started making more, the Bulls ended up winning. So I can't think of anybody off the top of my head that have, that's been successful in life that hasn't had failure at some point that springboarded them. So even though it's a paradox, I think you have to have failure or at the very least challenges, challenges and obstacles that you overcome. And, and the more you've been handed stuff to you in life, the harder it's going to be to overcome challenges because you're not used to getting down in the mud you're not used to really grinding. And, you know, every, every kid in America, you know, on their Instagram, man, grinding it out, man, woke <laughs> up, man, I'm in the gym six o'clock in the morning, grinding, you know, grind life or hashtag grind. It's like, dude, everybody's in the gym at six. It's just right. the other people aren't tweeting or Instagramming about it because they're actually working. You know, I mean, get over yourself. It's not a big deal to be grinding like that. You know, no, right. I mean, you, know, if you, you don't want to be successful. You have to, that's what you have to do. You know, <laughs> yeah. But, but some of these people aren't used to grinding out when things go bad, when things aren't the way they want it to be. Um, and basketball players are, are even worse than, you know, you were a baseball player. <laughs> you know, I mean the, the cliche it's, it's faulty, but you know, even the best baseball players in the world fail 70% of the time. You know, that's a faulty, that's not true, <laughs> right. but from a batting average standpoint, you know, it, it's, it's kind of simpler to say that, but in baseball, you do have a lot more failure and you do have a lot more, Hey, I've got to stick to the process. I've got to work things. I've got to work through this. Um, it's not always going to come natural basketball. Sometimes they expect everything to come naturally to them and they expect everything, you know, every referee's call should go, you know, in their favor you know, everything should be fine. And it's like, you know, if you want to be the best, you're going to have to overcome some challenges once in a while. Yeah, no, I, I totally agree that baseball set me up for a more level-headed acceptance of failure because of my experience dealing with that. And I, I find that those moments where I was struggling has led me to more success doing other things because life is tough. You're going to face those struggles. Thank you for joining us today on the Edge of Greatness podcast. We hope you enjoyed today's episode and join us again next time as we continue to dig deeper into the key components of greatness. The path to greatness is never linear, so remember to keep pursuing greatness no matter what. Keep stretching your abilities, reach for the stars, and fall flat on your face. But no matter what happens, remember, whenever we fall, always get up. Until next time, I'm Charles Schultz, and this was the Edge of Greatness podcast. Thank you for listening to today's episode. Please take a moment now to subscribe, rate, and review our show. We are all on the edge of greatness.